Apparently, I now have to make a disclaimer about how this video is satire, because apparently you guys didn't realize that was the case in my last two nightmare videos. So um, don't comment about this video and don't write a 1500 word essay debunking a 3 minute satire look at the noob's experience in Bad Wars. Starblock is good and we love it, and we'll keep on playing it. Alright, thanks, cool. If you told me that this would be more popular than this in 2018, I would have laughed at you, and yet here I am two years later spending hours playing a clicker game for YouTube. The point of Skyblock is pretty simple, there is no point. You kinda just do whatever you want really, although the general goal is to get as strong as possible by maxing out your skills and getting the best gear you can for updates that are announced 9 months early and released 5 months late. Stablox's islands are part of a progression system where you naturally progress through the islands as you level up your skills, except that's not strictly true, because as beautiful as all the islands look, I can almost guarantee you haven't been here, 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 or here any time in the past two months. Fairy souls are clearly one of the greatest features in the game. Originally added as a way to kick start time Dio Skyblock career, fairy souls require you to explore all the corners of the map to find them, with almost no clues to where they are, in return for a stat boost that makes the game basically unplayable if you don't have it. This pointless 3 hour long journey is the hallmark of all Hypixel Skyblock profiles as the one thing that everyone has to do but nobody wants to do. And if you don't do it at all, then you'll be incredibly weak and bullied out of every lobby. Oh, and also, recently the admins realized Time Dio was out of content, so they moved them all around again to give him more content, so good luck if you were missing 3 or 4 before. The dungeon system is arguably the most impressive thing I've ever seen on any Minecraft server. Ever. No sarcasm this time. I'm... I'm being serious. An entirely procedurally generated adventure map that gets bigger and bigger each level with a well designed boss fight at the end, assuming you don't mind waiting a week for all the major bugs to be patched out despite having several testers and volunteers at the admin's disposal. There's some people out there who don't play dungeons and claim they prefer slayers over dungeons, but I guarantee those people just don't have friends to play with and have also never been invited to a party before. Speaking of slayers, slayers are the absolute worst thing added to the game. Despite being technically optional, you ideally want to get to spend at least 6 hours getting to level 7 on each slayer and if really possible, 9 hours to get level 8 in Revenant Horrors 2 for the regen buff. Since its release, the Slayer system has been patched or changed over 5 times, was griefable until about a month after release, and if you hated grinding Slayers now, then you'd have hated it 10 times more before due to stupid stuff like other players causing invincibility frames on your boss. Made a whole video about it, go watch it. As for the other skills, well, good luck, have fun with that. To my knowledge, only 3 players have actually matched out their skills, one of which is an admin, so it doesn't count, and the other two absolutely could have used their time for better things. Fishing taking the longest to level up will probably take you a few hundreds of hours to get to match from level 0, which is perfect for... Uh, nobody actually. I have no idea who this is for. I can only hope something else fishing related comes up. Whoa, 2 plugs in 1 minute. Damn, I'm good. Whether Skyblock's popularity came from the perfect storm of everyone having way too much time on their hands, looking for something to sink our excess hours into, or just the fact that everyone wanted a simple yet expansive game with tons of future potential, Skyblock is here and it's here to stay for now. Anyway, see ya in 5 months when the next update drops and hopefully the economy might be in a better state than Venezuela by then.